Welcome back, everyone. F2 error means slow fill on Dexter, which means either got an issue in the drain or it's a fill valve. And the fill valves are back here. My guess is it's a fill valve. There's two of them on Dexter's, one for hot and one for cold. They're super simple to change out. It's about a 10 minute job. And you definitely want to turn the power off when you do this. Those are the fill valves. In our case, it it's the hot. These are fill valves or water valves and we rebuild ours. They're about 50 bucks, sometimes as high as a hundred dollars. Or you can just put new diaphragms in them, which is all you need. And diaphragms are about six and a half dollars each. since you need two diaphragms you just do them both while you're in there you'll see which ones are bad which ones are good you'll have 13 bucks in it instead of 50 or distributors they charge 80 or 100 dollars for these we go to laundry owners warehouse if I haven't told you that before Keep that assembly together, otherwise it gets messy. So here's your water diaphragms. Sometimes you can't tell if they're bad or not. Why we just replace both. you go through a few of these every year, you'll save yourself a few hundred bucks. And we have soft water, and we still go through these. So if your washer is overfilling three or four cycles, times three or four turns a day by three or four gallons that adds up and for 13 bucks it can be fixed and worse yet your customers might not be getting their bath full their clothes might not be getting wet enough see that's seized and there's two bolts there it helps if you have the right size but 
and then either take a picture with your phone or remember which order these wires go on there. If I get them wrong, let me know. push these clamps way back so they don't fall off and drop down in the washer. And then kind of put, kind of jiggle that around like it's going to be in place so these other hoses sit down in there kind of naturally because you don't want to pinch them. If you crimp them, then you're in trouble. If you put your hose clamp on now and then bend it down in there, this hose is going to contort and then you'll have a flow problem. Did I get those right? Let's go back here. And you can see we've got a whole nother problem. The pit's full. That may be another video. And check these screens too on the supply lines. This is hard with one hand. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. I'm gonna have to set this down. You gotta get that hose on there. That way you can pull this thing tight to line up your bolt holes. What do you all do for repairs yourselves? Do you do it all? some of it, if you hire it all, let me know. And thanks for watching.